Hey, look at me. Look, right here. You don't need photo presets. You could dial in whatever you want in Lightroom. You can make your own user preset. Call it a day. You don't need them. I literally didn't know that that was an option for years using Lightroom, that I could even make my own user presets. Let me just show you how to do it. So here I have a raw photo and I could do a multitude of things to it. It's probably not gonna be great just for the sake of examples here. <laughs> I could change all the sliders and do a bunch of different things. I could even come down to the tone curve and map this out completely different. Oh, geez, okay. Um, yeah, adjusting HSL sliders to my liking. Obviously, if you do this on your own, you're gonna wanna dial it in across a multitude of different scenarios, changing all of your colors, going to the color grading tab, switching all this stuff to the way you like, maybe even coming down to noise reduction or lens corrections or adding grain. Any of those things you could do on your own. I haven't, <laughs> but <laughs> to save that, you just go up to develop and new preset and then you name it whatever you want, like barf, because that's what this one looks like. And then it shows up in your user presets over here. That's how you make a preset and put it in your Lightroom catalog. The truth is I've known how to do that, make a user preset over a handful of years, and I still haven't made my own because I honestly don't trust myself alone to make something that is worth the standard that I've already made with other presets I've bought. Prior to 2017, I used old school presets, uh, film emulation from Visco. They used to make Lightroom presets and I found out that Ben Chaish used them. So of course I did. And when I applied that sauce to my halfway decent raw images, I thought I was better than the legend Ben himself. <laughs> I wasn't, it, they, it did not look good. I did not know how to tweak it or make it look timeless. So I just ended up with a bunch of vibey, underexposed film images. <laughs> that were digital. <laughs> I mean, but with those presets and using new presets, I started making my most creative work. I started using them in unique and different ways and messing with them and trying to find a unique voice. So that was cool. But as I went to multiple workshops, I started to realize that my philosophy was the most important thing in my business, not being a vibey looking film emulating digital wedding photographer. But rather, I wanted to make work that was timeless, that stood the test of time, that wasn't going to be made fun of as some sort of brown amorphous blob or no greens in the grass at all. I still never made time to develop my own personal presets, so I ended up getting even more vibey ones because I thought that would make me even more creatively different. So I think I literally Googled like vibey presets and bought the first pack. I just cringe every time I look at those edits um, from like seven years ago, eight years ago when I was using that stuff and how the skin tones didn't look anything like real life and the grass looked nothing like it does in real life. Needless to say, none of that got me that true to life look and that philosophy I was starting to develop. So that really started to wear on me and I realized that I needed to make some sort of change. So I hunted for presets that gave me that timeless look. Thankfully, I found presets that were like that. Uh, but that kind of brings me into the reason why I'm making this video and the counterintuitive nature of the title. <laughs> Look, I know every photo YouTuber and online educator in the photo and wedding photo space sells and has presets, and I do too now. But just before you log off and call me a spineless and uh, heartless monster, just hear me out for a second. <laughs> I wanted to provide something that was going to make people not have to go through that same process as me of going through all these vibey presets and realizing that's not what they wanted at the end of the day, decades removed from the work that they made. So I partnered with an incredible company called Develop, much smarter people than I that create incredible presets who teamed up with me and were the brains behind the creative vision that I had for this pack called the 606. I'm not making this video just to sell you my presets. It's not the intention of this video. I'm making it so that you know that they're available and that they're an option. But if you already have presets that work with you and your philosophy and you don't struggle with this, please do not buy my presets just for the sake of buying them. I do wanna highlight four reasons why I made this pack and how it lines up with my work philosophically. Number one, I want to offer presets that convey a timeless look that stand up over the decades of viewing that people will do on these wedding images, portrait images, 
and create the most nostalgic moments for those clients so they could be transported right back to those moments and feel like it's true to life color and how they experienced it in the moments that you photographed. Two, I wanna offer increased productivity for photographers like me so that it's not something you toil over on your computer and spend hours and hours and hours on. Uh, there's only three presets in this collection. Ravenswood is the more classic look that just looks very timeless. Um, it is inspired by film photography. I have Belmont that's a little bit more vibey and fun if you wanna play with something that feels a little bit more edgy. Maybe your clients have tattoos and you wanna use Belmont instead. And then finally, Montrose, a black and white that has really good contrast ratio and isn't too faded um, or that underexposed film look, but actually looks true to white and true to black and has great contrast and punch. And the reason I named them those three names were because they're really important places to me in Chicago. Ravenswood being where this studio is, Belmont being where we bought our first condo, and Montrose where I've done countless portrait and wedding sessions. Number three, I wanted to create a preset collection that honors the philosophy that I've come to have in my business that conveys that timelessness. And if other photographers have followed me for a long time and agree with that philosophy too, it might give them an option to have that as well and not struggle so much with jumping from preset to preset, but having something that gives them stability so that they can go and be creative or serve their clients in a better way. Finally, four, I don't wanna shy away from this. This is a business endeavor for me. I can't deny that. I will make money from selling these presets, but I want everyone to know that it's helping me expand my business. I wanna hire a full-time editor this year so that I can create more free content on YouTube for you all in the photography and filmmaking realm. So that gives me the confidence and the ability to do that, to pay someone else so that I can post more frequently. I haven't been able to do that as much this year, so I would really love to have that separate stream of income so that I can get more of my time back to spend more time with my family and to be able to sustain and do more of the content that you've seen here as I'm able to be funded through you guys and you can benefit from having this product as well. Whether anyone buys these or not, I'm just really excited to use them for myself, honestly, to have this collection that is exactly what I want and exactly what I like that works across a multitude of different cameras and camera profiles for second shooters and increases my workflow. I'm just personally really excited about it. If that is exciting for you, I hope you can engage with that as well. But more importantly than anything, it just gets rid of all the fog and frustration of the post process and gives me the ability to serve my clients in a better way and a clear headspace to do so. And to think creatively for how I can provide an experience for them on their wedding day or their portrait session or in-home session or whatever it is so that they can walk away feeling like they had an experience outside of just having photos taken. And ultimately that will give them the ability to look back at those images and look back at them with deep-seated nostalgia. You don't need photo presets. You don't need my photo presets. You could do what you want. You could do whatever you want. It's your life, it's your work, it's your business. But if 606 might help you, you feel like it will, it's linked down below. You can check out more information on Develop's website. And I just wanna say thank you all for your unending support and your kind words and your DMs and all the things that you guys do for me. I really love you all and I really appreciate you um, giving me the ability to do this for my job. So I'm not gonna be mad if you don't buy my stuff. Just want you to know that it exists. Love you, see ya, bye.
I'm releasing lots too. If you're a filmmaker, those are coming too soon. A lot of the same stuff. All the warm and fuzzy stuff.